Primary sclerosis and cholangitis and primary biliary cholangitis are two autoimmune conditions that affect the biliary system and they are pretty rare. However, they can come up in exams and it can sometimes be a bit uh, confusing trying to figure out how to distinguish the two of them. So first of all, with primary sclerosing cholangitis, one key point to remember is that it involves the bile duct both within the liver, so intrahepatic, and outside the liver, extrahepatic. A few other important points include that it does have quite a strong association with inflammatory bowel disease, especially ulcerative colitis, and it can lead to cholangiocarcinoma. Investigations include an MRCP, which is a detailed MRI scan of that part of the body, where you can actually visualize the narrowings within the bile ducts. P. anchor is an antibody that's also associated with PSC. Treatment is largely supportive and some patients, if eligible, uh, may be considered for liver transplant. PBC, on the other hand, only affects intrahepatic bile ducts. It is associated with other autoimmune diseases, so many of you would have heard that autoimmune diseases tend to come hand in hand with other autoimmune diseases. So a lot of the time patients will have a history of other autoimmune diseases such as uh, hypothyroidism and SLE. Investigation-wise, antimitochondrial antibody is very useful for diagnosing PBC. And the good thing about PBC is that there is a medication that has a prognostic benefit, and that is ursodeoxycholic acid. Thank you.